morning, everybody. Uh, it's a great day. I'm a big time Cardinals fan. Just wanted to take a few minutes on my way to work here to talk about the trade of uh, Paul Goldschmidt to the Cardinals. You know what? I remember back in probably 2011, I saw Paul, not in person, but on a spring training game, just mash. I mean, he absolutely mashed a home run. And I swear to God, I said to myself, I was like, this guy is going to be a star. I mean, he had light tower power. I mean, he looks like a power hitter. He, but he's a great all-around player, too. So I've always admired him from afar. Him, Joey Votto, Mike Trout. Those are probably my favorite players that are on the Cardinals. Because he can run, he can play defense, he doesn't talk smack, he just goes out and plays hard, very durable. Um, so I, it's hard to believe he's a Cardinal now, after seeing him that one time. But uh, I'm extremely excited. I, I got the notification that we got him yesterday, uh, around 4 o'clock Central Time, at work. And I could, you know, I only worked till 5 o'clock, so luckily I only had an hour left, so I could look at the news stories and the videos and see who we traded and all that and really we didn't give up too much uh i'll admit the diamondbacks are getting some uh not top end prospects or anything but carson kelly we thought was going to be our next catcher but he just really hasn't hit and yachty continues to play at a hall of fame level so i'm not that been out of shape uh with trading carson kelly very talented defensive catcher great arm has some power He's a pretty big kid, and really smart. He, yeah, I know he has a journal that he carries with him all the time, takes notes, and very bright kid. So I, I think he does have a bright future. I'm happy that he's going to get an opportunity to finally play because he was stuck behind Yachty here. There was nothing we could uh, really do about that. Uh, Luke Weaver, this time last year, he was uh, going to be like our number three in the rotation and had an amazing spring training. You know, throwing 95, 97, uh, nasty changeup, throwing strikes. But once the season started, he started out okay in April. But after that, it was a real struggle. Uh, he he kind of tries to uh, pick at the corners a little bit instead of just going after the hitters and attacking with his fastball and changeup. And he's tried like a little cutter and stuff. And it just hasn't worked out for him. He lost his spot in the rotation, went to the bullpen, got pretty roughed up. So... I think he still has potential, though. We just have so much pitching depth. We don't really need him, per se. Former first-round pick. Look up his minor league stats. They're off the charts. ERA around two for a starting pitcher is uh, outrageous. So I think he has potential, too. And uh, the other guy was Andy Young, who's a second baseman, who I hadn't heard of until this year, but he put up a lot of uh, solid numbers in the uh, I think single A and double A this year, and then he went to the fall league and apparently hit real well. So he could be not Dan Ugla, but something like that. Uh, you know, second baseman with some power, but apparently he could play third, and uh, I think he plays the corner outfield spots too if, uh, if you need him to. So, uh, and then I think we gave up a comp pick or something, uh, basically like a second or third round pick equivalent. So, pretty good haul for a one year deal I, I know a lot of people haven't heard of those guys if you're not following the Cardinals but I'm a nerd when it comes to baseball so you know I I know too much about baseball frankly so I know a lot about those guys I've seen them for years in spring training and, and when they came up and obviously seeing a lot of Luke Weaver lately I've never watched Andy Young play but I, I have looked at his stats and and uh you know, he could be a solid player. I mean, all three of those guys could be solid players. Uh, you know, and if we don't re-sign Goldschmidt, that's going to be a little bit of a bummer. But we have more catching depth. We have tons of pitching depth. And we have uh, still have Colton Wong and plenty of other guys that can play second base. So I'm not too bummed out about that. But I, I do feel bad for the D-backs fans because uh, I, I know the feeling of losing a superstar when we lost Albert uh, Pulos back in 20. Uh, like November or December 2011 you know you, you lose your favorite player and you know it's like we had a chance to get him but he just wanted too much money and 
he's around the same age uh, Goldschmidt is now, so I'm a little worried about that. But I don't think Goldschmidt would want a 10-year deal or anything like that. And he plays better defense, and he can run a little bit. Takes a lot, uh, a lot of walks, which I love. So I'm super pumped. Uh, yeah, I do feel bad for the D-backs fans. Like I said, I'm sorry <laughs> that you guys uh, lost your superstar, your face of the franchise. But man, I, I'm happy to get him and excited to watch him play. Probably get a uh, Paul Goldschmidt uh, 44 jersey or t-shirt uh, for Christmas now. <laughs> we'll see. I, I'm really excited. I think he's going to be such an anchor for our lineup. Um, you know, have Carp at the top. and I don't know who's going to bat second yet because uh, we don't really know who's playing right field. If the Cardinals want to sign, uh, go ahead and sign Bryce Harper. I'll be, uh, I'll be fine with that too. Uh, whew, man, to have him, Ozuna, and Goldschmidt, and Carp, and Paul DeYoung, who's a pretty underrated player, actually. He's uh, plays really good defense if you look at his uh, metrics on baseball reference. Uh, and he's got lots of power. So he'll be a good number five, number six hitter. And Yachty's still solid. One of the best hitting catchers in the game still at 36 years old. Uh, it's, it's exciting times. Um, I can't really relate it to anything except for maybe when we got Matt Holliday. But that was during the year, so that was a little bit different. That was almost 10 years ago, which is hard to believe. But oh, I'm just super pumped up. Just wanted to kind of share my uh, reactions as a Cardinals fan. And uh, once again, my condolences to the uh, D-backs fans uh, for losing their superstar. But you're gaining three pretty decent prospects for uh, considering, you know, we're only getting Goldschmidt for a guaranteed one year. Um, you know, you're probably getting an everyday catcher, maybe a number three, number four starter. Two at, two at the ceiling, I would say. but uh, And then maybe a, a Dan Ugla type uh, hitter uh, at second base. So, And you never know what you'll get with the comp pick. So. Uh, it's a really good feeling. Uh, just wanted to share my thoughts. Um, love baseball. Can't wait for it to come back. Have several months to go still with this uh, cold weather here in St. Louis. So... Excited to get the season going, watch Goldschmidt put up some numbers, and hopefully get back to the playoffs. That's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe some more baseball talk or something. See ya.